Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. Today we're going to do 30 whole chicken wings and 14 chicken legs on the Weber kettle. <laughs> So the rubs I'm going to be using today is made by Root Boy. This is his rub number two. It's the chicken and pork. It's got kosher salt, pepper, onion, smoked paprika, chili powder, mustard, cumin, and ginger. And I'm going to start out this cook with this off square brewing. This is called Long Day and it's an IPA which is absolutely incredible tasting beer. This is my first time using Root Boy products. I heard a lot of great things about his rubs, so I went ahead and purchased them. And all I'm doing here is separating the wings and drumsticks because I'm going to do hot and mild. All right, let's go ahead and get this Root Boy rub number two all over these wings and legs. And I'm going to follow with some coarse black brown pepper and my hot rub. I'm also going to add some cayenne pepper to give these a little extra kick. So let's go ahead and... Get us a drink of our beer and get these mixed up. If you'd like to purchase Root Boy products, he has this rub number two and he also has a rub number one, which I will show that in a different video. Root Boy has a Facebook group called The Root Boy Cooks. If you'd like to purchase these products, go there. And stay tuned guys because I am going to be doing a giveaway on both Root Boy's rub number one and rub number two. All right, let's go ahead and get this Weber kettle fired up. Here you'll see I have two chunks of apple wood and a couple of lighter cubes to get this fired up. Now here you'll see I'm using the 18 inch pizza pan that came with my Cajun Bandit smoker kit for the kettle. And all I do is I line it with aluminum foil and take a razor blade. And on the back side, I just cut the excess aluminum foil off because I really don't want the flames hitting that. The purpose of lining it with foil is just to help make cleanup easy. And here you'll see my dual rack system. Let's go ahead and get all these piled on here. And again, there's 30 whole wings and 14 chicken legs. I didn't mention it in the video, but I did spray my grates down with Pam. I'd also like to mention that I'm putting the hot on the bottom and the mild on top. The reason why I don't put the hot on the top is because while it's cooking, you don't want all the drippings falling on the mild wings, making it too hot for the people who don't like spicy wings. All right, let's go ahead and get the top grate added, and let's get those mild wings stacked on the top. I'll tell you guys one thing. I am really impressed with this door rack setup with all the food that you could put on it. If you guys would like to see me do a video on how I put these racks together, just leave a comment below. Here's just a close-up how I placed all the wings and legs on the grates. You want to try to leave some spacing in between each one if you can. It's not a big deal because they will shrink up some. All right, well our coals are lit, so I'm going to go ahead and put our diffuser plate, which is that Cajun Bannon 18 inch pizza pan, right over top of the fire ring that came with that kit I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and put the lid on and you want to be sure that all your vents are wide open. We want our pit temps to reach 300 degrees for this cook. I'm going to go ahead and give Ken over at Heavy Metal Barbecue a big shout out because he gave me the idea of setting up this pit like this with his gravity fed smoke bomb that he come up with. And for those that don't know, I added a second vent to help for even distribution of heat inside the kettle and it works flawless, especially in cold weather. So while we're waiting for the pit to come up to temps, Here's another beer I'm going to try from Off Square Brewing. It's called Hard Day. Some really good stuff. All right, our pit temps are at 325 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and place all the meat on here, get the lid back on, and I have the bottom vent wide open, and the two top vents are cracked halfway. All right, well, we're about 40 minutes in, so let's take a peek. The current temperature is 21 degrees and this thing is holding temps like a champ. I haven't 
touched events since I've started, and I'm really impressed in how this Weber kettle setup is performing. And it's been smoking like this through this entire cook. And at first I didn't think I was going to like it due to the byproducts of the charcoal leaving that flavor, but it's nothing like that. It's just amazing how everything turns out. So as you can see, I cranked the vents wide open, running about 350 degrees. Our internal meat temps are at 160 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on here for at least another 10 minutes and we'll check back and see what they look like. Alright, well, I went ahead and pulled them because our internal temps was at 175 degrees. And I'm here to tell you, whoa, did you just see all them juices pop out of there? That is exactly why I like cooking the wings whole because I feel that it traps the juices. Well, here's a close-up on how everything turned out. And I'm telling you, they taste mighty delicious. I gotta say that Root Boy Rub is some really good stuff. I will definitely be ordering more of this here in the near future. Well, while I'm sampling all this goodness, I'd like to ask everybody, what are your thoughts on this Weber Kettle Mod? Leave a comment below. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you learn anything, please hit that like button. Comment below all your thoughts and share to your friends. This is all I have for you guys, so have a great day.